Hi everyone and welcome back to Stitchy Bee. I'm Cheryl Temple. Um, well, thanks for bearing with me over the last few weeks. I've been mega busy and I know I said I'd come back with a huge fabric haul and I kind of am today. Um, but yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know why. So, um, a few months ago, Love Sewing Magazine um, approached me and asked me very kindly if I would review a sewing pattern for them. And it's one of their patterns that comes out free with their magazines and uh, it happens to come out this month. So, I've been asked to review the McCall's 6884 wrap dress. And that's what I'm wearing today. I'll give you a quick look. So it's actually a faux wrap dress. So this part's sewn in here. I won't, I won't flash, but you get the idea. So it still ties at the waist here, but it's sewn underneath, so it gives you a little bit more comfort. On the pattern itself, it comes with three variations. I sewed view C, which is similar to the picture of the dress on the front, the red dress. And I chose the three quarter sleeve and also the lovely gathers here. So like most ladies, I like a little bit of distraction around the waist because I've got a perfect flat stomach. And I find that that's really flattering, especially in a nice busy print like this monochrome um, fabric here. This is made from a, a Ponte, a Ponte Roma, and it's black and white print. And I chose this because of the time of year. So with Love Sewing magazine coming out this month in October, um, we didn't want something too floral. Um, I would have loved to have chosen a floral, as you can probably guess, but it doesn't quite fit with autumn. I didn't want to go too Christmassy because we're not quite there yet. So I felt this would be a really good kind of season changer type of fabric. So I chose this one. And the pattern itself, is brilliant. I noticed that the one that comes through with the magazine comes in sizes 6 to 22. So that's brilliant. You've got so many sizes to choose from there. Okay, it makes, you know, finding your size maybe a little bit trickier, but that's brilliant to include all those sizes. What I tend to do um, with a pattern with so many sizes on is just get a highlighter pen and highlight my size first before I cut it out. Unless, of course, you're going to trace it. So onto the pattern itself, um, it's actually really quite easy, despite it, it, it looks like a finished kind of ready to wear dress style, I think. Um, it doesn't feel homemade, which I always like, because um, it's got some really nice touches on there and features. Um, the ties are just the right length. Um, and then uh, the because I made it in Ponte Roma, I found hemming the neckline and the hems was really easy. Um, this is the first um, thing I've made from Ponte. I tend to use either jersey or a, a woven rather than something that's a bit of a thicker jersey. And um, this is brilliant. So if you're new to sewing stretch fabrics, I'd really recommend a Ponte as a first go. It's a little bit more stable because it's a double knit, so it doesn't move as much under the sewing machine. Um, and it's a, a good one to try. So like I say, you could choose short sleeves or three quarter sleeves and there's different waist treatments as well. So I went with the gather here. But overall, it's it's a fabulous pattern to make. Um, really nice that it's free with the magazine. So if you've got it, have a go. There's nothing too tricky at all. Um, tips to look out for. On the lay plans, um, you've got to really study quite hard. So some of the pieces um, are facing up and some are facing down. So just double check and make sure, I'll show you what I mean. So there you go, on here you can see a couple of the pieces are facing the different way. Now the reason it matters is because both sides of the front are different, so this side is different to this side and so on. So. Um, when you're cutting it out, just make sure, otherwise you'll waste quite a big piece of fabric if you get it wrong. Um, but yeah, that's a good point to look out for. In terms of adjustments, I just cut my usual size 14 and added an inch to the waist. So there's usually a cut line on uh, dress patterns where it says cut 
um, to lengthen or shorten here. So I usually cut straight through that line, straight across, it's around the waist area. And then I add um, an inch of paper, tape it, and then that gives me the longer part of my body, which I really need because I've got a long torso. Um, so that's worth remembering if you're pretty tall. I'm five foot ten to give you an idea, but it depends on your own um, body. Some people are, have got long legs, some people have got long bodies and, and so on. So you know yourself. So keep a look out for that. And yeah, it's an absolutely brilliant freebie. I think this month as well, because I subscribe to this coincidentally, so I, I actually got a copy of the magazine with me in it. So <laughs> I'll pop a picture up here to, to bore you with. I'm sure you've seen it before if you've followed me on Instagram, so I won't go on about it. Um, but yeah, there's another pattern with the magazine, which is a cute little dog coat as well. Um, so I might give that a bash and make Eddie something nice for the winter. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how we get on with that. But that's the uh, cover of the magazine. The model on the front is actually wearing a gorgeous um, red version, which I think looks like a Ponty as well. So I was thinking about um, maybe doing a red one. Um, and I think it would be a brilliant Christmas day dress because it's one of those dresses where if you're in the kitchen preparing food and you're hosting, then it's, it's nice and easy to wear. It's not too hot, um, but you can still feel quite dressy. You just throw it on, you won't need ironing. You can kind of wash it and just hang it up to dry. Um, so that's a really good idea of theirs. And I think there's another couple of versions inside as well from a more party sparkly version. So yeah, it's a really versatile pattern and you can do lots with it. So have a go. Okay, um, on to my next news. I've decided, you've probably re realized that my sewing room's changed a bit. So I've kicked my husband out into a different part of the house with his desk and I've now taken over the whole of my sewing room because I've launched my own fabric shop and it's stitchybee.co.uk. So I never intended to launch a fabric shop. I've always kind of worked and making handmade sewn goods and that kind of thing. But as I've been doing these vlogs, it occurred to me, it's quite frustrating for you guys um, when I make something and you can't get hold of the fabric. And I feel the same when I watch people make things. I'm like, where did they get that from? That's a really good idea. Because there's so much choice out there, um, it's nice if I've actually got something to say, yeah, and you can buy it here and it's still in stock. So I've set up a, a little small business um, selling, at the moment I've got about 60 fabrics online. They, it's growing, I'm gonna add more and more as the seasons change. And of course, this fabric is on my shop, uh, in my shop as well, which is over here. So this is, the Miss Monochrome Pontiroma and it's absolutely gorgeous really easy to sew um, I've also got a red Ponty here I'll pop a close-up so you can see it the sun's come out now and um, I've got a lovely floral one which I kind of very nearly chose for this project and I've got some navies and there's all sorts of other fabrics on there um, so I've got um, crepes and jersey and some denims on this week so have a look if you like um obviously i'm not going to talk about my shop the whole time on here because that would be really dull being sold to but if you want to buy any of the fabrics that i'm wearing you know you can um the other reason i set up the shop was i'd never found that one place that i could buy from when i want to buy fabric that i always went to i tend to go to half a dozen different companies some of them sell craft fabrics as well, so you've got to sift through all those on their websites and so on. So I've set up the kind of shop that I'd like to buy from, selling purely dressmaking fabrics, I don't sell anything else. And also I wanted a really fair price point because I know what some of my favorite fabric stores pay for their fabrics and it's, it's you know there's quite a big difference in some of them so I wanted a really fair um, affordable price and free delivery because that's another bugbear of mine I hate having to think about the cost of delivery when I'm looking at fabrics online so it's free UK delivery and um, I also ship worldwide and there is a charge for worldwide shipping and um, but it's the absolute minimum so it is exactly what it costs me to post and no more and if there is a difference then I'll always refund the gap 
So yeah, go have a look if you like. It's stitchybee.co.uk. Um, I've also put on there um, a no quibble returns policy. So it's quite frustrating when you're buying fabrics um, to really kind of get the real feeling of what it's like. So firstly, I've made sure that the photos are as absolute best as they can be. I've spent ages making sure the colours actually look like the colours of the fabric um, and that's not easy, that takes a lot of time so hopefully um, you'll appreciate that. So yeah if you don't like the fabric and it's not for you or it's not the quite right feel then send it back, it's absolutely fine. Um, it's what I expect as a customer to be able to do and lots of companies say once you've got the fabric and it's you know you, it's been cut into meters then you can't return it well you can with me it's absolutely fine we can always resell it no problem so yeah that's me that's my news so that's it for this week um one thing you might want to do is follow me on instagram i've got some new fabrics coming on um each week and if you're interested and you'd like to have a nose then uh click the instagram um link i'll pop it in the description below and i think it's on the actual um, YouTube homepage as well of where my channel is um, and also if you want to nip through and subscribe to the email list um, you'll get to hear about some sales and some remnant sales as well pretty soon so thank you very much okay um, next time I'm going to talk about um, some new fabrics and also my sewing plans um, for autumn winter because I've got a couple of cozy tops and also I'm going to do a sew over it pussy bow dress hack um, so at the moment they've got the pussy bow blouse but I'm making one into a dress from a gorgeous uh, leopard print fabric and another fabric so I've got two of those on the go at the moment because I quite like wearing um, you know kind of loose tunicky style um, dress with kind of black tights or black leggings underneath and black boots that's kind of my uniform for the winter so I'm on with a couple of those so I'll share those with you next time okay thanks very much for watching and I won't leave it so long next time and don't forget to subscribe take care have a good week bye